Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahau Kakadash, Devil Honest to the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone, who will. And he taught us this truth, shallow warm and salutations. To the hopeful elect, I came out to spread the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures teach us. All right. Um, shallow warm to the few sisters that do this to us as well. This is the brother Yar Martin from the Great Millstone, Chicago camp. Basically coming to you with another lesson. I'm going to do a read through. And, uh, I'm going to do some elaborate. But um, basically it's just a letter, uh, a, lesson, a lesson of conduct. You know. Us um, being at a hopeful elect. We ain't supposed to be out here bugged out like these niggas acting a goddamn fool. Alright. Or, or, or with this conduct. This, this worldly standard. Living up to this worldly standard. Alright. This. This Bible gives us everything we need to know pertaining to salvation. All right, no, just on mannerism and things like that. Um, I was gonna get into this chapter. It's a short chapter. This is uh, Titus, the book of Titus, in the New Testament. Um, this is Titus uh two, and I'm gonna uh, start at the top and do a read through. It's only fifteen verses. It says, um, this is Titus two and one. It says, but speak thou the things that become sound. Which Shalaki, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. All right. So this is what we were taught: sound doctrine, things that are uh, uh, things that you can prove. All right. The scripture says, um, "Hold fast to that which is good." It said, "Prove all things and hold fast unto that which is good." All right. I think that's in Thessalonians. All right. But it says, uh, "Titus two and one." But speak thou the things. Which becomes sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. And that's the age, uh, and that's the, the conduct of an elder man in his truth. And um, for a sidebar, you brothers can go look up those words, all right? Like being grave, being sober, mind, sober, sober minded, having clear thoughts, all right? Being grave, being sober, being temperate. Sound in faith and charity and patience, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things. Because our women are supposed to be in order too, especially those who um, profess this truth, all right? They're not supposed to be given uh, to too much wine, all right? Too much, whether that be spiritual wine or physical wine, all right? Uh, too much um, <clears throat> giving over to too much freedom, too much liberties. All right, like you see the nigga woman shaking her ass on Facebook, even having a fucking Facebook, or all on oh world star hip hop acting a damn fool. You know these things ought not to be so, but the earth is turned upside down. So our people, we don't know how to act. We don't know our head from our foot, our foot from our ass. So. Uh, this 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 vibration that the so-called white man puts out the air for the Israelite man, woman, and child. If they don't have a covering of Yahweh, how shit me how shot, they doing everything contrary to this. All right, and especially the women. Verse four, it said that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. And uh, and, and 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 that ain't so out here in this, this street. But this is how it should be because the first thing they teach, they, they most for the most part, especially starting with the black woman, uh, uh, your your daddy wasn't shit, and, and you ain't gonna be shit. All right, you know, the, these things are off, man. I remember, uh, the, and, and that ain't supposed to be. Hey, my, I, I remember one time when I was a kid. Hey, um. And it, oh, <laughs> uh, my grandma told me I was a natural born fuck up. All right. My grandmother told me I was a natural born fuck up, man. You know, but <laughs> that's a sad part. But they, that's just the conduct of the, of, the, of the nigga woman, man. The nigga woman is out of line, man. But this is how they're supposed to be, man. It said that they may teach the young women to be so. So if the older women out of line, Imagine these, these younger women and these, you know, and I'm I'm talking about, you know, women old. So imagine now, hey, we just got to get the fuck up out of here, man. But let me get back to the lesson. All right, it said that they may teach the young women to be sober, 
to love their children, Salaki, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chastity, keep us at home. Good, not right, not independent, so-called independent, not not uh, uh, being compromised to that that the idea of feminism with social engineering has has put out there and, and, and fucked up Jake's mind, man, with the women, man. Like the brothers say, man, you take the male lion out of the home, man, and attack the cubs. And that's what Esau Edom, the so-called white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, all right, has did with us. All right, verse 5, to be discreet, chastened, chastened, keep us at home, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh may not be blasphemed, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemy. Because that's slander and blasphemy to the words of the Most High. When you see Israel out here acting the goddamn fool, man. All right. That's a disrespect. That's a disgrace to the most high when you see Israelites out here acting the fool, man. All right. We know how the woman's supposed to act. We know how the man's supposed to act. All right. That's why the other nations look at us and say, it wag their head. It's, it's the word of God. These are the people of God. You know? Please. That's how they look at you Negroes and spit growers, especially you Negroes. All right, you Native Americans, you Israelites. Verse 6, it says, Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. So we show, as younger men, we show a pattern of good works. Because that reflects on your how about shit, how was shot. That reflects on the brothers who taught us. The elders who taught us, the apostles who taught us, the other brothers who brought us up in the camp. All right. Verse 7, it said, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. All right. Keeping our honor, not staying in our honor, man. Having integrity and doctrine showing incorruptionness, gravity, sincerity. Right. Having having balance, man. Being unstained, being, being, being sincere, man. Sound speech. That cannot be condemned, that he that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. And that's how we're supposed to be, man, walking blamelessly like that. Exhort servants to be obedient to unto their own masters. And a, and a master is a teacher, man. Just like when you go into martial arts, master. Or when you go into bodybuilding, you, you, you have you have a master trainer. All right, and you you become you come in a, a servitude to that man, you know. Like uh, who's that nigga on that movie? Show enough, the master, that 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 Bruce uh, the fucking Leroy. All right, exhort servants to be obedient to their own masters and to obey them well in all things, not answering again, and that's that backbiting, man. They're talking shit back when, when you get ordered to do something. All right. These things are not to be so. All right. Not prolonging, not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity. That faithfulness, man. That faithfulness. That they may adorn the doctrine of our Savior in all things. All right. So we're a reflection of your how about Shimei I was shining this doctrine overall. For the grace of of Yahweh bringing salvation have appeared unto for the grace of Yahweh that bringing salvation have appeared to all men. And how did this grace appear? And well, first and foremost, the all by Shimon Shah, he put the spirit on the, the on the brothers, the, on the apostles on down, man. And we letting our light shine. All right, that's why the, uh, the Lord said, Let your light shine among men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The Lord is, is opening his wisdom to us. He's opening his, these prophecies. All right. Going all the way from the things of old from the beginning back to Genesis, all the way to the things that's happening now from our slave trade, all the way down to things that's happening now, like World War Three, uh, our Armageddon. All right. The RFID chip it wishes to come. All right. In the, in the plan of salvation by the prophets out here waking up people that grace. He's showing us the grace and the mercy that he has on us. He opened up our eyes to this truth. All right. And we see in the salvation right now. All right. This verse 11. It said, I'm going to read it again. 
for the grace of Yahweh will bring his salvation, that bring his salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly, man. So all this bullshit, this partying, this bullshit, this being in the world, this getting high, going to the club, selling dope, uh, or uh, trying to make it in Hollywood, whatever the fuck. It's out here for you, man. It ain't shit, man. If it don't pertain to this, this truth, man. That's the that's 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 living drunk, man. That's living unrighteous. Verse twelve again, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. That's why the scriptures tell you to abstain from fleshly lust, which what? Abstain from fleshly lust, which war against your soul, man. We need to abstain from fleshly lusts which war against our soul, man. Because that's going to take our salvation. That has been made clear. It's, it's closer and closer. Verse 13, it said, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious... Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us and this Titus talking to Israelite, all right, one of the elect men of Israel, because that's when Yahweh Shai is redeeming on this side. Who gave us for Salaki, verse 14 again, who gave himself for us that we that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify to himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. All right, because we the only one that's uh that have a zeal for these good works on this side. Everybody else is lost in the in the sauce, all right, so to speak. These things speak and exhort, rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. And that's what we do when you see these videos, when you see the apostles out there, year in and year out, week in and week out, day in and day out, the elders, um, younger brothers, other brothers like myself. You see them with the garments. They come in sincere, sincerity. They exhort and they rebuke. And the scriptures say, cry aloud, spare not. You know, because we letting our people, this is our culture. This is our conduct. Not no goddamn Kemet or, or no black power bullshit. All right. This is the prophecies coming to pass. You see the Latin brothers, the Native American brothers, the, the Negroes, the brothers from the island descent. You know, we coming out there together. That's the prophecy in Revelation of the, of the two sticks. All right. What it say? Um, those, um, I think it's in Zechariah, those two olive branches. All right. Salaki, the two prophets in Revelation. Ezekiel, um, I think that's the 37th chapter or the 38th chapter. Somewhere in Ezekiel 30s, the two sticks. It's probably the 37th chapter. All right. You see the northern and the southern kingdom, which is Judah and Israel. All right. Rebuking, exhorting, crying aloud, sparing not, letting the world know the deep parables. Like it says in, uh, in Apocrypha and Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, starting at verse one, man. We stand bold in the face of the wicked that made no account of our labor. So these things are the ways we're supposed to conduct ourselves in this ungodly world, man. But with that being said, I'm going to just end it and say, Call Halal, Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Yahweh Kadash, Double honor to the elder apostles and to the hopeful elect. I say, Shalom.